Picking things off with a bang. A lot of aggression down middle already for Namika. Actually pushing four plays in and Lady Star just removed the head instantly of Jiro. All the kills along the way though of Namika as they batter it down. Hobbit last man standing. He can do little but sit in banana and hope for the best. Well, that was quick, and that is how you like to open it up. That's kind of a that's like a statement pissed around from uh from yeah. to plant the flag down and state a bit of declaration of intent on top coming down. Definitely a player to watch out for as well on the side of the to try and rotate, wrap around into the flash multiple times, still on the back box go. Spray is good for two, and it could be more. Great hold from Gambit, and it will be a flawless hold. I just found have already taken a bit of shrapnel as well. Yeah, this was deja vu to start it out. That's a big kill because it's not necessarily the damage, Vince. It's the utility that Namiga don't have. They use so much to get that initial mid control and pressure towards lane and show the same tactic. Now they don't have a lot to work with. But a five on four, they can slow things down. They can make it nervous, and they're going to try and walk in contact and trade their way into the bomb fight. Inter's got to hold on for one more, and he can't do it. A retake on the cards for Gambit, and they just call it off immediately. Oh, I was just beginning to believe the Inter. In their head, they're thinking same strat. Same strat we just saw. They're going to be pushing up lane any second. They use a lot of counter nades. J.O. just backing away again. It's fast mid-pressure. They're up already. And Nathan, he fought off guard. The pace is incredible. Good counter flash. Exile's got one. Inters can't hold on. And Exile with the second kill is going to leave this for a three on three. As he backs away and waits for his teammates to arrive. Bomb goes down. But, I mean, there's a smoke. There's two Molotovs in the enemy. Previous round, they pulled the plug and got out of there. This is a much more winnable situation. Plus, they want to try and impose their will where they can. But Exile shredded down by MDS, re-attaining and reassessing the app's control. Shiro gets aggressive, slight off angle, but MDS comes out second best. The time, though, is ticked away so very quickly that Gambit are looking for exits at this point. The round is done. Incendiary to the back of the pit may actually yield a kill here to deal with Rock Devil. He does it, it's both of them. So although they did the bomb site, that's Shiro, who's got an off angle here. It comes to full exec, and Nafani's up top. Shiro with the first, and they've already got him wide. He's pinned down, but it doesn't matter. Great crossfires from Gambit. This quickly on the T side is very impressive, but this could be the moment where Gambit just starts to swarm them. Yeah, we, we've, we've touched on it a little bit. The, I mean, the last is the right moment. I think the flashbang is so good and that spray transfer is up to the task. I think Shiro saw an elbow there. I think he knows what's coming. Transferring over and there's the whole body. Into the next round. So at least they will consistently have some threats on the board. But Gambit, the world of control, just end the area down. They're finding the same position where Shiro wreaked havoc and terror, but it's Idis balance on the other side of the orb, but it's going to be laying waste to the defenses. It's now all dropped. Smoke's beginning to clear over on the coffin slide, but there's an incendiary there to keep Shiro at bay. For the fort retake, the weapon advantage certainly in favor of Gambit, but another body's hit the floor, and now the flank comes into effect, and it's the AK-wielding Lollipop who does have Kevlar behind it. So in a round that Namiga looked like they had no business getting even close into, this could be a W. Lollipop has the deep on two players. Whiffs out in the second spray, but MDS has done enough with the Deagle to put this down into Jashiro. I say Jashiro, the guy is incredibly talented, but he can't wind back time. The bomb is about to detonate, and a successful T side for Namiga against the odds. That's great. That is really good work on that hit, even with, uh, with the low utility that we kind of... Oh, no doubt. No doubt at all. Momentum certainly was starting to shift in Gambit's favor. And Amiga, though, now sacrificed you. You've ceded control of that part of the map over to the defense. Shiro's going to back away. Straight angle from the bomb site. Good kill from Exile. And this is a slaughter. No progress for Namiga. And Box is... Namiga felt like that was one of the last nails being put into the coffin there is the final one being hammered for they're not trying to go for any heroic retakes just saving the weapons and knowing it'll give them a lot to work with in the future good trade oh that's a great shot one deke as nafany's falling and all of a sudden vince at this b bomb site on a low buy round is causing gambit problems well you just mentioned about scrappy rounds and somehow making them work out this is the 3v3 that they would have never expected and two rifles have now traded hands into armor, albeit on weakened adversaries. 
Axile pushing up, gets one digged out of his boots, and now there's every opportunity that this clutch could come in. Namiga could be taking control. They're forced by a Deagles and Tech Nines, rush B site, and get their seventh round. Straight out of the tack front, the fight in the back behind it, of it caught out of position, but that smoke actually comes to his rescue. Can now post up the again shot. Off the back of some huge performances, but there is the MAC-10. The aforementioned SMG menace that sprayed through him. But finally, at the back of the site, can only yield one frag as he runs out of ammunition. And as his magazine runs dry, so does his HP bar. Another three-on-three -three post plant on the B site. And Gambit's still stuck behind utility. Oh, this is getting really scrappy. The entrance coming through the smoke. And Durs goes down. MDS with one. And a two-on-two two into the post plant. Flashbang to get him around the corner. Axile going to take a peek. And even though J.O.'s blind, he's got the kill anyways. And now they can just play time. They know it's an op. They know it's unwieldy. And Shiro's just going to go for him with some exit kills. But Namika's got eight. And that'll be all she wrote here, Jason. That's going to be 8-4 lead for Namiga. Who saw this one? Between the Molotov, but a well-placed nade brings him down to 8. And he... Oh, he's going to go for it anyways. Blinded! He's got a double kill. 8 HP. Fan Damn, that is a nice play from J.O. Oh, that flash. The MVP of the round, for sure. Just absolutely ravaged money for a purchase into the next round. Whatever happens here is completely worthwhile to throw one or two bodies in if they can even take one player down with them. And Axile is that man to fall. Now, if they could get Shiro's up, that would be the cherry on top. In the top, locking it down for a teammate. And it seems like they have done enough. This is having impact-wise. Now, Inters has moved away. Flashbang is good. The utility for the media has been on point this entire game. But the counter flash is there as well and now exile with the mp9 of all weapons has held it down by himself two players fall to his wake now finally getting in between two players no idea as to Ice balance current position now he'll find in the barrel of the gun betraying the orpa over on the meager 2v4 and it's not even a post plant just yet geo still needs to put the bomb down and in doing so it'll be a momentary 1v4 however they won't get pushed through the smoke the utility is there to afford them a safety net Box is watching, knows he may have to get a bit aggressive here. Try something a bit crazy, a bit wacky. And Box has his teammate bodyguarded. Hobbit so nearly picked off the first player in the form of Geo. He's now stuck at the back of the site. This is actually a horrible round though for me, but not anymore. I was about to say if they can get that crossfire in, but the two of them lose their heads and it will be a 10-5 halftime score. That's such a great sacrifice play from Hobbit with the S. Oh, it's a, an excellent, pristine first half for Namiga. Gambit will be disappointed, but they have every chance now to turn their fortunes around. And Shiro passing the bullet through Box's head by the time that Gambit pull the trigger. Or will they decide to actually back off? Because they, there is Hobbit. There's the snake in the grass, but a holly... Pop goes right there. Lollipop now hears the footsteps. There's the peak. Doesn't land the shot. Needs oh, he's got it. He's got the quick headshot and the follow-up onto Hobbit. That is great work. He's given his team a chance. A three-on-two post plan. Their chances may be all they need, and my goodness, the Gambit know the importance of this round. This would be second pistol being lost. Inters gets caught in rotation. Shiro now has to pivot in for a huge clutch. It's one headshot, but that's all he will reap. And enough time for the defuse for the CTs. A bit of a nightmare situation here, Jason, considering that start, you expected Gambit to do everything in their power to convert, and yet now Namiga have a golden opportunity. A lot of pressure still, a fulcrum point potentially in this map. If Namiga do concede and Hobbit removing the head of Lollipop, they hit in place. And with the bomb carrier going across first, that affords them a bit of luxury, but Dio gonna try and take this round away. All he'll find, though, is Axile with a Galil, and that will be more than good enough to deal with his threat. 3v5. Which, I mean, Namiga had to have known we're going to come out. The battle, the headshot angle with Hobbit, over towards the B-bump, that you had Axile with that one way towards Coffins. You had them turning the clock. And Gambit need to start getting some frags here. They need to start getting some wiggle room between themselves and their opponents. It's good two frags from the Farney. Box comes back, but there's Shiro. And although there's a triples, two kills on the Galil on Nafani, one kill on Shiro on the AK, and not a whole lot for an Amiga. It goes 7 to 11. Still an M4 on the board for the D. Okay, I was just going to say it's starting to heat up a little bit, you know? It's getting way closer. They're going to go for that bait and switch and a big frag from Lollipop. 
Yeah, that's a good trade, but not as Malif isn't going to be super happy about it. Double Molotov. Oh, he gets one in the flames before he goes down. Again, a heroic double kill. From they start to realize it. MDS push at the back of the pit over on the mini side. Comes out, swings in, but Hobbit takes him out with the M4. It looked like he was actually going to drop into pit, but I think he jumped up on the railing first. So a bit of parkour for the frag. And now an Amiga with Box and Geo with not too much money surplus in may feel compelled to go for this call will come through the hobbit got dinked off that m4 and now the free, free frag from box does come into fruition that incendiary could very well finish off a very weakened hobbit if he's not careful and that forces him into an awkward angle here still plenty of time on the clock as well in terms of the bomb and geo so nearly takes down inters that could have been the key back into this round and the clutch box trying to isolate with the smoke divide the two of them but hobbit says no Eagles picked up upgraded pistols, some armor, not a whole lot of utility for the defensive side, but Lollipop still on fire in holes. Man, it's the one needs to douse off the flames. He has been so good. I think he was 6 0 at one point as well, right at the beginning of the game. If he did just catch the live action here, Namigo on both pistol rounds, put the pressure on, and there's another one, Deke. This time it's on Box. Nathanie's going to use it to get into position. Box is looking for this exact play. Can he find it is the question. Nerve wracking, and there it is. Now an AK. Now he's going to return fire through the smoke, and he's not landing any kills. He eventually goes down, but Gambit's not going to want to press the issue. Decide to push onto the site right now. They know they're going to be getting rotated and flanked into play. So a post plant does afford them a couple more luxuries. It turns the attention with 20 seconds to go. So post plant comes in. The orb of Shiro and Axile together. A duo of destruction, very capable of clutching this round, but the first piece has fallen, and I disbalance with the Deagle comes through and sticks to the landing for a second time. An unbelievable turnaround from the Miga with Deagle. That's an incredible round from Box. All on your own, and I mean, you know it. Your team's already called out. We're stacking A, we're gonna retake B if they go there off of it, which is a huge recipe to be able to steal a map away, but now they gotta close it. Pop Flash coming in, Box with the peak. Pulls out a nade, and Ida's balance at the moment is not involved in the action. Box is doing everything, and he does fall. There's J.O. for the trade, and Banana Control to Namiga, but look at the lurk from Nathany. Oh, this is massive. I think they may have a good idea. So this coming up, they got a player now posted in the mini pit. I think he may have just been caught briefly from the Farney. Now he definitely has. Haircut administered across MDS. The Farney tries to get it for two, but it's that man. It's Lollipop. And he continues to twist the knife in the back of Gambit. He's finally been plucked out by Shiro, but the damage has surely been done. Shiro 1v2 has the opportunity to go for the plant with about 10 seconds left, but he is being flanked out from apps. This position is so huge from Geo. If you're Shiro, you probably anticipate middle. You probably don't anticipate death from above. And it's Geo the Estonian that reigns supreme. But another massive round from Lollipop. Yeah, I mean, and it's nothing crazy. It is just solid play from Lollipop so far on the TT side. And there it is. Perfect. They want to get aggressive. It's a two for one, and the HP behind it. Ice one tag three plays with that shot. He nearly got the triple <laughs> stack. A 1v2 comes in. Hobbit with these fakes as if he goes to the site. The problem is with the AWP, once he takes that first shot, and Lowey, he likely gets fragged. And Lollipop Pop doing his. Yeah, but staring at a map one loss at the moment. Oh, that flash. The utility on both sides has been spelled too much success here. Geo at least gets flashed out, but there's an incendiary straight down. They push in an angle we haven't really seen the Mega use just yet. Will yield two for Box, and he has a smoke to extinguish. It's not an ideal smoke. Runs out of ammunition, and Hobbit's there for the counter. Post plant will be coming in. Yeah, I think he was fine with the smoke. He wasn't fine with not enough bullets in the chamber or in the Shiro gonna have to go for a peek. It's an extended. It does he's burning? He's got a chance. But Lollipop has been so, so good. And it looks like Amiga should be able to close out the round, and they will. 15 for the defense. Oh, they're cutting it super close, but they should about have this, I think. No, oh, no. No, a millisecond to go. I thought they had that round in the back. I'm not sure, but he's got J.O. here, who hears all these footsteps. That should be a freebie. He holds his trigger, almost gets caught. But he's got the second half of this attack stuck in CT spawn. This B split has gone to hell, and Gambit's got to claw their way out of it. 
They've only got 17 seconds in which to do it. Geo's been put down. Shiro doesn't have a safe angle, but now the Hobbits came to the forefront. He may very well get just enough time for this plant and survives, lives to tell the tale. They may think he's back on the U-Box. The smoke affords him a little bit of luxury. But they're getting pushed in. Hey, G takes him from downtown. And the plant goes down. You can see Namiga turn in the corner. They know where it had been planted. They knew where Shiro could go. He could be second oranges. Or a little bit more flashes. I should go Deagles. <laughs> There's a nice pick from Idis Balance. AWP come jumping into pit. Lollipop has spotted it. As we know, he's been excellent. His teammate goes down. Nobody to keep space for Lollipop. Box gets there just at the right moment. The scout doing some work, but Hobbit's got a wide angle. And Lollipop, by the pressure, was flushed out into the open. And oh no, Gambit. Looks like they bought themselves another chance. Three on two as the bomb gets planted. Here comes Jo, feeling good. Wants to make a play, and he's got the first. Can't find anything after that, and Hobbit is... To be etched in by Idis Balance, pushing the smoke. But there's Hobbit flicks onto his head. A full-blown B exact, so the op may actually have more impact than I thought, but there's the pop flash. Unexpected. Exile's got the first. Fox drops. He needs two, and he's got it. Idis served with the AWP is here, but misses a chance on the cross. This is going to be a tough retake, and no kits for Namiga. Yeah, this is where going for that extra firepower on the second orb could come full circle. 3v3, though, still puts them in an opportunity. But because of Hobbit's position up middle, they know all three players must be bottlenecking. One dimensional back on towards the fight. Rolly Pepper pressure through, gets the frag onto Shiro. But in the counter frag from Inter, who's stuck at the back of the site, he needs to have big impact, and he is going to pass with flying colors. Another two frags in Gab with that utility. But in the longer engagements, it could very well factor in Gambit favor, or perhaps not J.O. Double. Dumping utility to slow things down. Do some early damage. Flashbangs don't work. Oh, and Polypop aggression, double kill. He's going to close it out as he's done so well. In opening map one upset on Inferno. We get right into it on Vertigo, and we aren't slowing down. Already up the ramp, and already two kills for an Amiga. Lollipop and Box take the heads off Shiro and Naphne, and... That's going to slow things down for the moment, although Hoppet's starting to look for an equalizer. Oh, and he gets caught, though, switching to his side arm or his grenade. And although Hobbit gets one, Lollipop's come back in for more and an extra. Three kills into the round, and after an extraordinary performance over Inferno, he's showing no signs of slowing down. Axel has to try and cut the one on four. They do wise not to peek him one by one. He's a player that's more than capable, and there's actually a team kill thrown in the mix as well. Starting to get a little bit pear shaped than Amiga, and Axel's claimed another soul with his block. The bomb just ahead of him, there's plenty of time though. Doesn't need to rush in, gets caught from the side, and J.O. finishes off. J.O. is here, he can get a pop flash from his teammate, MDS. Could chuck one over for a quick peek, but I don't think they have it set up in time either way. Axel didn't expect it. Another double kill for the M4 up front, and now it falls onto the SMG. A wide angle from Nafani, and he goes down. B bomb site, kind of open, kind of exploited, but they don't have control just yet. After a patient's coming in as well. So although it's open and it's a bit available, that door can be quickly closed. Amiga struggling a little bit, but well played by Box. Perforating looks across the murky waters of the site. Inters will go for the plant, but Box is up close. He can try and eradicate the two teams. Goes out prematurely. Trying to the end of that round. I think in his head, he really wanted to make a play to stop the plant, considering there's only six seconds, seven seconds on the clock. And I think he just got there a little. Pray again for both teams. Flash over for Box. We'll be going for that early peak. Nafani, not for the first time though, using his aggressive spawn, trading one for one. Idis Balance gets his man with Yorp and can pull the plug. Lolly pop up close with the MP9 as well. It really is a position side that is tailor made for these SMGs. So Gambit, they, they did get a one for one trade. That's a pretty solid outcome. If they can pull block here with Hobbit, this would be huge. But Lolly pop, not for the first time, getting. And he's even going to get himself into safety. AK, however, I just found did spot a small gap in the smoke, but it's not enough to exploit and execute off. Another post play, not careful. But now the bomb timer starting to come into play. They know they've got to get a move on here. Good flash. 
A consistent theme, but Axile's gonna hold his ground. Puts the flag deep into the soil, and will look to try and battle back as much as he can. I decided to show him his head, and Axile ripped it clean off. So we saw it to great effect in the previous one. This time he's gonna sneak right through it. Oh, he's been spotted by Box, and a good double up between Box and Lo Some utility out to clear behind the wood panel. And he's gonna try and find a duel into the prop site. Good peek from J.O. Better shot from Axile. An MDS with a trade, but again, pressure at the B bomb site. Exquisite entry frags, and now Inters Hat is in Gambit with a real chance to accelerate. It looks like he will come head to head with Inters, passes that test at least, oh, no. and now he can play a bit of interference. Throws it again, and he drops the bomb down. Idis Ballot single handedly taking this round and making it his. All three kills. He'll have eyes all the way down to ramp, but very much the same could be said on the revert. Yashiro's making moves, good for Kane, and more importantly than that, he managed. Smoke to delay things. This is a lot of pressure onto this bomb site, but Namiga's handling it pretty well. Now it's the off turn, and the slow peak is going to be easy, but he's got to fall back now. Too many repeats. Lollipop pops up, and a four on two. But what can Gambit actually do to get into this bomb site? They're running out of utility. It's got to be all dry peaks and dry fights, and that's what the op wants. And they're trying to get some damage right at the end in a one versus three. Smokes are up, but no chance to plant this bomb. Yeah, it had to be raw fragging, didn't it? And although... Ooh, Hobbit doesn't swing all the way wide, just sees the AWP and backs away. Lollipop doesn't even turn from the flash, confident in the fact that they had a stack. Walk up the A ramp and they walk up towards lane. They're about to turn into the bomb site itself. Oh, the timing for Idis balance there is brutal. Oh, around the corner, Nafani removes his head. We are thinking success, box note. On the angle, trades one for one. That may not be good enough for Namiga though, because they still trail by a player. The man was certainly in favor, but Gambit are walking out. And MDS nearly punishes them both. Inters is weakened and he has the bomb. Now down to J.O. Not sure where the last player is and Axel shows his hand. A real pivot round here could effectively be a two for one. Idis Balance starts to back away from the site. The timing could not have been sweeter for Namiga as he hits Nafani center mass giving the meager player advantage again, but it does seem as though J.O. and the rest of the CTs will be pressured and pivoted in again on this B side. J.O. behind the box, gets wide swung from Axel, a good flash from Shiro, and an even better entry frag with the AWP. And in doing so, with their economic situation, as you highlighted, Jason, they are pulling the plug, yeah. they are looking to save. There's nothing you can do. But I mean, three weapons is just nothing to be too upset about. You're gonna have money in the next round, two for the two of them. And it's that man again, the man that you highlighted. It's Nafani that's taking point for his teammate. Gets punished. One for one trade, though. Axel goes in and doubles up his entries. The beast site is falling again. Yeah, just like that. Even though you get a kill on the other side of the map, even though you have success, you turn the corner and you're already blocked out of your own bomb site. So Namiga again, going to have to just back away and try and save with three. They're on a four round win streak. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the key thing, I guess, is although Nafani's, like, individual... Oh, they don't know. Now, if you're Gambit, you're hitting the pause button. You're letting Nafani make a play. And again, he's gone back to it so much. Hobbit's going to go down, but this gives Nafani all the information he needs. And he's telling his team just to pause. They can actually go back to B, and he could have a huge flank and backstab if they wanted it. There's Exile, another kill towards the B bomb site, And now Nafani can choose whatever he wants to do across this whole map. There we go. He's finally got a bit of success. Wanted to see him reap the rewards of his aggression, and it's happened. Came full circle. I disbalanced. He gets finished off by Shiro. And it's looking grim for the rest of the Niga. Their money still hasn't fully got into a good enough position to afford consistent buys, even with round loss accruing. And MDS goes down with a bit. Nafani making inroads up on ramp again. There's a double player stack there. He's already dealt with box. And there's a second as Idis Balance tries to get aggressive. Because of how many times they've hit B, it's an understandable repeat. Maybe not anticipating multiple players as Nafani's constantly been that lurking prowess. While he popped down alongside MDS. And this is much more like it from Gambit. And this is... 
An entirely different ball game, of course. Inferno, as opposed to Vertigo, as Hobbit drills another head. Might be their only option now that all these choke points are blocked off. They might want to go in on the tap, but I don't think they're set up for it. Really, really tough round and tough decision. No good answer for Namiga at this point. Now the decision of saving or going has been made for them. It's the last round of the half in that respect. So they will be pressing forward. And that ruthless aggression may stick to landing, but they missed the mark. And they splattered, and it's Hobbit, and the full confidence and his ability to hold this one. He may take a couple of shots and then back out of here. He needs to get some frags for his teammates, but the leaping players into the air draws away his fire. One for one trade, but Inters and the party now trying to lock it down. Postplant comes in, will afford them options going to the second round, whatever happens here. But Edis Balance wants to make sure that they come out of this with a big W and how much it is required. Inters, though, says no as he suppresses down with that USP. MDS. Oh! Oh, those flicks! Oh, and a third as well! Just doing a much better job of holding off the initial pushes as well, our Gambit from the utility. But Hobbit gets caught with his incendiary out, and Jail will oblige. Spray. They have to because they're running out of nades. That's going to be the conversation. We've got nothing. We've got no flashbangs. We've got no smokes. They've just got the one on MDS. Now they're looking for the reaggression. Hopefully, manpower can do the trick. Trying to enter into the bomb site. And here's the classic vertigo, spamming through the smokes, the only thing left for both sides to do. They've thrown everything at holding that initial contact, and it is an Amiga that comes held everything. They withstood the storm. Now a similar situation taking shape. All five players, their money. Bit of chip damage, a bit of flirtation between the two teams. And speaking of which, Nafani now, oh, he was turning his back, maybe anticipating a flashbang, but it's a one fun trade. Five, all four players here for an Amiga. Shiro holding it off angle in towards lane. Enters. He's down a little bit of a one way, but that kill, he's got to back off it just at the wrong moment, and he goes down. You start. As soon as they walk into his crosser, he's got to look the other direction. So Gambit looked like they had a decently strong position, and Hobbit's going to get him right back into something. Before being traded off, and Exile can go for this. They've got a full buy next round, no matter how this turns out. And he also has a kit where time dwindles. Maybe faking it with the gun to save. They line up. Remy so nearly sprays them both down, but he's slightly off. Flashbang into peak from I Disbalance, who maybe only when they connect those sent them a shot and start spiraling it oh, out of control. No. But Hobbit, you have to stand his ground. This incendiary is everywhere. The floor is lava. Axel gets two. Now they found it out for sure. And they're spraying them where they stand. Nidus balances last man. And Hobbit will nullify him. Even the first was pretty miraculous. Pretty standard round. J.O. going to come right through the smoke. And he treats Nathany to a headshot. Opening kill for Namiga, But it's traded right back. Good res smoke to get himself out of the position. Axel is going to come through those smokes as well. Lollipop right through it. There's the first headshot traded immediately. But Axel, he's going to stick around for more. And Bach has got to be careful. Narrowly just stays alive and he's going to get the bomb planted. Three on three. Two up from this retake, but Axel has stuck his shot. There's another one. He's really coming alive, but so is Idis Balance. He was so good with the AWP in the first half. Connects the shot to home and finishes off with a P250. In a couple of times so far. This time, though, Jail not getting aggressive. But a lot of that utility has already been expended. It's at the cost of Jail's life. And Box also goes down. Tries to make... The fourth Shiro back with a Molotov. Although he's going to stay pushed forward. There's the kill. There's the bomb down. Namiga Gambit just maintaining a narrow lead. Every time Namiga tie it up, they just take one step forward. Win. Gives Shiro, Nafani, and Hobbit a pretty deadly triangle. Many different crossfires. He predicts the follow-up. Molotov puts it out. One for one trade. Shiro's going to go down as well. And Hobbit's still just surviving. He's hoping they don't check this position and he can be a nuisance. Turns his back into the flag. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Hobbit. Now Inters needs to try and repel them away. But his teammates have died all around him. The body littered with gambit corpses. And Inters tries to fend off and thwart the oncoming T's to try and keep his M4 alive. But MDS removes the head. It's another... From Gambit at A. That failed in the last gun round. And there goes Box. Inters has that kill through the smoke. Exile, again, the information, the control. Gambit does not have to worry at all about keeping three players aggressive on this ramp. 
Such an integral moment in the round with Inters fragging out first. Hobbit and Inters again. And a big grenade as well lands Plum on the face of Idis Balance. So in a round that matters so much, Gambit are running away with it. And Axile's gone in for the long flank. Finds himself MDS. Will get picked off by Idis Balance though. But he instantly falls on his sword. It's for control. They have to just come in and get this bomb planted. There's nades. There's some all tops. Here comes the plant. Spam in response. The lollipop found through the smoke. The bomb's still not going down. He was so worried about counter nades and counter shots. And again, he's brought low. And he can't get the bomb down. Smoke's about to clear. And Namika have found. I think Namika's just giving up on it. Complete collapse, perhaps, but Ida Talent is giving them an inroad back in here. They're getting some kills, some low plays as well. Inter's down to 6 HP. Box and J.O. not faring too much better, but now time has gone too far in the opposite direction. They have to save. They do crumble. They do capsize. This is bare bones. Bottom of the barrel stuff. Very reminiscent to Inferno as well. Vast lead gets dwindled away. This time on the left-hand side of the site from the CT's perspective, I don't think anyone really wants to take it upon themselves to get aggressive. J.O. though, another head removed. This time they can stick the bomb. They're okay to sacrifice we pop if needs be because they have the play. And Shiro just never had the information. The timing of when he kind of peeked and threw out a smoke and checked his angles was just off. They kept walking by his angles just as he was giving them up. Book perhaps especially now that their entry is very weakened and limping across the finish line, but Shiro nullifies that threat and forces Namiga back again. Well, they're held at bay this time. Good utility usage from Gambit to slow things down. Nice kill from Hobbit. Sam coming through the opposite way. Not going to find nearly enough damage. And J.O.'s at 12 HP. He's going to get pushed from lane. Hobbit finds another. And Ida's balance gets distracted. There's MDS and he finds one. But he's got to have three more. They know exactly where he is. Hobbit's position is just so strong. So this may fare very poorly indeed. They need entries. They need them quickly. Two players bypassing a sandbag's position. Does anyone check for Hobbit? Yes, they do. And it's that man again. It's J.O. who comes alive. But Shiro will douse down that aggression for the time being. Spotting a second player on the box. And they won't manage to just out survive this one. Live to tell the tale. They're looking to try and take the look on. Grab some fire. Shiro gets aggressive again. But this time it works to his detriment. As he's cartwheeled out of the round. And it's we get this round. It's going to have to come down to some shenanigans. Smoke has been put into play. Prey towards sandbags is good. They're tickling the bomb. They both have the kits, and Axile is now coming alive. He's picking up AK frags left, right, and center. Into sticks onto the bomb, but his partner in crime spawns <laughs> down, and Box will take a stop. They are mixing it up. This time it's not going to be that A hit. They're taking middle control, and Box gets the reward. This puts a lot more pressure on Axile. His start has gone down. Axile, while using that smoke to his advantage, looking back in. Back and forth, but eventually they catch up and bullets will riddle him with holes. J.O. watching for that rotation. This is such a dirty angle. A very difficult one to watch out for. By itself, it's nothing special. But keep in mind that Nafani's attention will probably be towards the top of the staircase. He won't be anticipating this angle. Crossfires are very easy to establish, but he's doing a great job of actually bypassing it. Still nearly comes out second best though, but with him getting the frag, it forces more attention across towards the stairs and allows those CTs to make moves from CT spawn. Lollipop is keeping the dream alive though here for Namiga in this round as the bomb takes so dangerously close. The spray is labored. It's not quite there. It's going to be close, but I'm pretty sure Gambit have the defuse. And in doing so, the six... And once that smoke begins to fade, it's going to be an interesting dynamic that comes into play, but instead it's just J.O. that faded out from Hobbit, and the Farney also sprays through the smoke. Two 3D frags make it a quad, actually, and the round is... also wants to spray through that smoke with the Auto Sniper, so he's stuck in his weird, caught in a, a cycle mentality, and he decides to push out first. Goes down. J.O. at least, though, will avenge his life, but he was so low that one bullet through the scaffolding will seal the deal. And it's looking great for Gambit to go flawless in our first half of overtime. It may be a bridge too far at this point for Namiga. Although Box tries his damn this, there's the repeat from Hobbit. And our MDS in familiar territory has often been in these 1vx situations, stuck on ramp with no real hope, but just pressing forward. 
and he's were just outmaneuvering the Miga. They had a very different style on their T side. They were hitting every aspect of the map. Great pop flag. Lollipop was completely destroyed by that. Eviscerated by the AK. And now J.O. with that secondary orb has to go huge. One kill forthcoming. Smoke does afford him a passage to the generator one more time. But MDS has fallen additionally on B. And the curtain may be coming down with a pace that Namiga could to really slow them down or mount any kind of resistance. That B bomb site is near impossible to hold on to. Your attentions are split. It's it's so hard to work completely here. They can stick around and gamble though if they want, but unfortunately, I think just now it's coming through that it's a full commitment to the A bomb site. There's Nathany. Triple kill in mid. And even though I disbalance trades back as best he can, huge advantage. Three Glocks. A path with a headshot and quickly smoke onto the site. That may just afford Hobbit a bit more of luxury, though, to play around. May have done more harm than good. Understand the decision making, though. But that desperation. Pretty deep angle. But now it's tough. Now, I mean, there's not a whole lot of time between execution and contact. There's the first box. Now he's got a decision to make. He's way too exposed out towards long. He's got to push forward for the peak. J.O. is taking his lucky stars, but there's no chance with double ops. 100%. I'm so amazed they're going in for this. Once the smokes have gone down, like I honestly thought they're going to pull the plug earlier than that, tap out and just save. It seems like kids, you've got two warps that are way more immobile. You are in such an awkward position. Speaking of which, the second that box spins around, it gets beat from Hobbit, who's done more than enough. He's also slowed Idis Balance down. He's going to get pushed in. They're going to lose both up. It's a complete one player. Only MDS crossed over to the B bomb site. There's a massive opening here. Good kill on the lollipop. That's out towards long. The Molotov burns him. And there's Box. He goes down as well. That's in CT spot. And yeah, now it's wide open. Now, if you're MDS, this is your only option. But unfortunately, Inters doesn't have to do anything. He just can sit there. These two weapons again. We're in a position where Namiga with max round loss could maybe accrue some kind of a buy. Obviously, lollipop after they saved in the previous round has enough for a purchase, but. That's still assuming that they can even hold on to these guns because they're getting hunted down. The Farney wants a bit of the action. And Dial should be able to clean up. And, well, both the remaining CTs. Gearing up towards window. That's the op. Oh, and he takes the reload time. Look at this position he's gotten into. This is so good. It's so nice. And Box has no idea. And MDS close to the tunnels is... What is he supposed to do here? You've just got to gamble. You've just got to hope and pray and wait for the smoke to clear. And they somehow haven't found him just yet in turns. Oh, he's been spotted. Now there's the turn. That's a long time to be under that kind of pressure. Hobbit on the lurk goes down, but Namiga realized they've already lost. Yeah, I think they've already made the call to save. And I think played comprehensively across the board. Yeah, all, all eight rounds really so far. Inters has 16k. Hobbit's gonna it's got 15,000. And with that early mid control as well, it's not just about getting frags, it's also about hearing audio cues, but MDS just walks in. This is maybe where Namiga are trying to make calculated risks, get a bit desperate, two big frags on the return, J.O. and Lollipop giving them a chance, but Hobbit will snuff out the life of Lollipop and boxes fall on the B side as well. The bomb is still over on A, so they now have to deal with the threat of Inters, who's going to be wrapping around the back of them, and this is going to waste so much time from Namiga. Well, they, they do. They have to deal with it now that J.O. actually went and tried to waste some time trying to find him in holes. They could have tried to take the 2v2 super quickly and force him to his hands, but, I mean, no good answer. Just maybe... Oh, the last time we played each other on us 2 was eons ago. Balance is doubled up with him towards spawn. This is a nice angle to take one shot and back away. There it is. And Nafany crouches right into it. Oh. Trying to put some bullets down that corridor of uncertainty as the T's continue to push in. Inters, though, another huge entry. And Jail was caught in two mines, but the M4 actually prevails over the AK. That's the box that's now gone down alongside the AK. And now Idis Balance has shown his attention. He's pushed through middle, through catwalk, but Axile just pivots around. Comes out aggression, smoked off, and there's the headshot as well. Nafani straight behind it. MDS trying desperately to hold on to this B site alongside the side box. They've got 
and M4 and a mass between the two of them. Lollipop's also rung out elsewhere on the map, but again, their players behind. Again, Gambit are circling like vultures, picking apart. People thought this kind of scoreline would be Inferno and Vertigo, and this would be an incredibly fast 2 0. It's been anything but. Nice pick, though, from the Farney on long, using that AWP on the best possible long spawn and sticking. The first frag. Good counteractive kill though from Jails. I'm gonna keep going. Again, just the confidence. Now it's a really, really tough off angle. Oh, from Lollipop, and he spots it out. So excited right now to get that first round of the board. J.O. pushing up catwalk. He's gonna grab cheer. Oh no, he's not. No scoped. Into a three on three. And I disbalance is now sandwiched between two different positions. Kill they simply had to get. I disbalance is missed. Flash up and over. Once that smoke clears, though, he knows he's going to get aggressed on from Catwalk. And Shiro puts it down range. It looked good for Namiga's first round. And instead, it's fell flat on its face. And MDS. I also want to see him get a kill. Balance has a teammate on Catwalk. He's not sandwiched. He can focus in one direction with no fear. And he's even got a teammate, you know, at Bricks to be able to support. Well, first, Orp will be going in for the peak. That's all of the old works. And they get picked off. Still comes out ahead with two entries. Oh, and it rains it pours for Namiga. This has been so brutal. Listen, sometimes it's not your map. Sometimes you just got to accept the fact that it's not your day, it's not your map. Thankfully, Gambit seem to be making, uh, they're not playing with their food, you know? This is going to be a 15 to nothing half, and it's all down to the pistol round to see if we're going to end with a goose egg into play damage inflicted Axel lucky to survive and i just balance trying to pick up the pieces as he gets aggressive with the glock mds has got himself a frag and a second as well great to see but can they still convert the round chiro pivoting back and forth and he has got himself a couple of kills an amiga 1v2 and the hobbit's been dinked down to 5 hp still connects the headshot onto idis balance and will be looking for more tries to stick it but fox <laughs> will make sure that no 16 Not much rewards behind this hobbit doesn't get affected by the flashes it was actually a smoke that was busted and now nafani can show his hand big headshot and finishes off with a second jo is reeled out of the round and hobbit and nafani just assert their dominance through middle as has been the case throughout this entire dust 2 performance and it's looking like it will come down right now